Hi everyone and welcome to our first tutorial on Tinkercad. We're going to use Tinkercad to learn about different things like microcontrollers and how we can program a microcontroller. Microcontrollers are all around us whether you realize it or not. We've got one in our microwave, we've got one in our fridge. Um, they are all over uh, everywhere. So it's important that we understand what they are and how they work and we're going to use this free program made by Autodesk called Tinkercad to learn about microcontrollers and how we can use them. So first thing you're going to do is sign up for a free subscription to Tinkercad. You just need to sign up and put in your username and password and then once you log in you're gonna go in and you're gonna see this view here. There's a number of different things you can do in Tinkercad. You can actually use it to do 3D designs and architecture, but we're gonna use it to build circuits. So we're gonna go down here, we're gonna click on circuits, and when you do that, you're gonna see this come up here. There's different circuits you can try in Tinkercad, so you can take a look at those. But if we wanna start from scratch, we're gonna to go to create a new circuit. So we're going to do that and we're just going to get a feel for what this looks like. So first of all, it defaults to some crazy file name here and you can change that just by clicking on it. So I can just put in video one and it looks like that. What it does is it gives you a palette here. In other words, this is an area where we can click and drag stuff and put things in here and we can start building. So for instance, I can go over here. This is basic components. And if I use the slider, I can take a look at some different components that you may or may not have used before. We'll take a look at what these are later. If we want more advanced, you can click on here and we can go to all components. They also have some starter kits, if you will. You can go take a look at some things that have already been built and take a look at those. But for now, we're just gonna go to basic and we're just gonna get a, a quick feel for some of the things that we are gonna start using. So when we scroll down here, there is a breadboard and you may or may not have used breadboards before. I'm gonna click and drag this over to my workspace. And so there, I've got a breadboard that I can use and if I wish, I can do things like I can rotate an object. So I can go over here and I can rotate this object if I wish, like so, if I wanna put it in a different orientation. I can simply click on something and hit my delete key in order to delete an object, or I can go here and I can delete. So it looks like that. If I wanted to wire up some things to make an electric circuit, I can do that by just using my mouse. So for instance, I could connect the power rails together. So this power rail here is not connected to this power rail here. So if I click on this point right here, this hole, and I connect it to this one, it creates a wire. So I've now connected the two power rails together. And if I want, I can put in the color of that wire. And typically, we denote red with a positive terminal. So we can do it like that. I can also connect the ground rails together. So I can click here on this hole and I can connect to this one here. And typically, we denote the negative terminal as black. So I'm just going to put a black wire across there like so. So that's it for this introductory video. Take the time to sign up to Tinkercad and try to bring in a breadboard and just get a feel for how it works to wire something on a breadboard. And we'll take a look at more in the next video. Talk to you then.